let's deploy our SAM application by running the SAM deploy command. I'm going to grab the SAM deploy command from my previous output and run it with the capabilities option and specify a value of capability underscore IAM. Consider this. You have a Lambda function with dependencies inside your local SAM application. And now you want to build and deploy it to AWS. Can you do this in a few steps by using the Cloud9 IDE? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Cloud9 service, hit create environment, then give it a name. I'm going to leave all these settings to their default values, hit create, then give it a few minutes for the environment to come up. Click on Open Cloud9 IDE, then right click on the parent folder and create a new folder under it called SAM. Inside my SAM folder, I'm going to create a new folder called My Lambda. Next, I'm going to drag and drop my lambda underscore function.py file, which starts by importing the requests and the JSON module. Inside my Lambda handler, I'm extracting the latitude and longitude values from my event, then constructing this API URL and storing the output in the request variable. On line 10, I'm converting the API URL output into a JSON object, and on line 11, I'm extracting the current temperature. Finally, on line 12, I'm returning the current temperature string. To summarize, this function takes in the latitude and longitude values and returns the current temperature of their location. Let's save this file under the My Lambda folder, then drag and drop the NYC event.json file. It contains the latitude and longitude values of NYC. Let's also save this file under the My Lambda folder. Next, I'm going to drag and drop my dependency file, which is called requirements.txt, and it contains the request package and its version. Let's save it under my Lambda folder, then drag and drop the template file. This SAM template is of the type AWS serverless function. Under properties, I'm specifying the Lambda handler and Python 3.7 runtime. For code URI, I'm specifying a relative path to my Lambda folder, and I'm also specifying a memory size of 128 MB. I'm going to save this template file under the SAM folder. Next, let's head to the bash terminal and type the cd or change directory command and go inside the SAM folder. If you type the ls or the list command here, you should see your lambda.yml file and the my lambda folder. Let's validate our lambda.yml file by running the sam validate command with the hyphen t option followed by the name of the template file. Looks like our template file is valid. If we had any errors, this is where it will show up. Next, I'm going to run my sam build command with the hyphen t option for template and hyphen m or manifest option for my dependency file, which is requirements.txt. Looks like our build was successful. We can confirm this by going to the .aws-sam folder. If you don't see this folder, click on the gear icon and confirm that show hidden files option is checked. Navigate to the my sam lambda folder and confirm that you see the request module and all its dependencies installed there. Next, we're going to invoke our Lambda function locally by using the same local invoke command with the hyphen E option to specify our test event. Give it a few minutes for the Docker image to build, then confirm that you see the current NYC temperature in the response output. Now that our SAM application is working as expected, let's package it using the SAM package command with the hyphen T option for our input template file, 
in hyphen hyphen output dash template dash file option for our output template file. I'm also going to specify an S3 bucket where an archive file for my Lambda function will get uploaded. Looks like our SAM application was successfully packaged. Let's double click on the output template file and confirm that the code URI now points to the S3 bucket. If you hit refresh inside your S3 bucket, you should see an archive file uploaded there as well. Next, let's deploy our SAM application by running the SAM deploy command. I'm going to grab the SAM deploy command from my previous output and run it with the capabilities option and specify a value of capability underscore IAM. This will give CloudFormation permission to create a basic execution role for my Lambda function. Let's also give our stack a name, then hit enter to execute our SAM deploy command. Give it a few minutes for your stack to get created. You can also monitor its progress by going to the CloudFormation service and confirm that the status now says create in progress. Looks like our stack was successfully created. Confirm this behavior by hitting refresh in CloudFormation. Next, let's head to the Lambda service, then go inside your Lambda function and navigate to the code source tab. Hit the test button to configure your test event, give it a name, then copy the latitude and longitude values from your NYC event.json file. Hit invoke to execute your Lambda function and confirm that you see current NYC temperature in your response output. Finally, if you wanted to delete your stack and all its resources, head back to the CloudFormation tab, then hit the delete button. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the developer bring a pillow to their AWS Cloud9 workspace?